What's up guys? Today we are going to be taking a look at the LotMax Shark version 3. This is the newest and most improved version of the LotMax Shark 3D printer and laser engraver. So let's start out with the unboxing and we can get right into the review. Let's have a look. All right, here is the box. Uh, let's open it up. Let's see what we got here. Now I've had the honor of checking out basically every version of the Lot Max Shark, and this is the V3. This one's got auto bed level, uh, and it's all sorts of cool stuff. It's also a laser engraver. You can do two color prints, and uh, very excited to see what this box has in store for us. Okay, we got a really nice uh, user manual here with very good illustrations and stuff. Looks like now very good. Usually the instructions will also be on the provided SD card. We got a little bit of sample filament. Here we got all the tools we will need. Um, the directions once again will be on that SD card provided there. Some spare parts and stuff too. Some nippers. Uh, the spool holders. Putty knife to get the prints off the bed. All that good stuff. Here's a dual extrusion printing kit. Very cool. Here is the laser engraving kit. And it also comes with the safety glasses. Never use the laser without the safety glasses. Very important. <laughs> um, here we got, this is a full glass a touch screen. So I guess they made some slight improvements to the old touch screen. Uh, let's get this out. Okay. The packaging is extremely nice. Of wood for the laser engraver. Alright. It's very solid construction here. And then lastly we have the glass bed tucked away safely right there. Okay, so I believe that's everything all right so let's put it all together all right first things first let's put the baby together um, now once again it does have a nice printed instructions as well as instructions on the provided SD card so however you want to do it but it's really simple there's basically two screws on each side that go for the through the base and into the gantry to hold the structure in place um, then from there you just got to put your two extruders on I believe they each only have two screws so very very easy to mount them and they're very solid you got the, the extruder two goes at the top while extruder one is just kind of in your normal spot you'd expect it to be in close to the hot end uh, the two spool holders also just go right in it's they're all solid metal construction really nice and Bowden tubes nothing really to say there they just flip right in uh, I really like the glass bed and I like how on the version 3 they got different clips for it uh, works really cool um, we got the sample filament we'll get started just using that and then I'll switch to some better stuff but yeah once it's all put together it probably took me about 15 20 minutes uh, and I must say the build quality on this is really nice I really like how you can pick up the touch screen too. I don't know, just something little like that. Really nice. Here's several of the settings, like uh, if you want to level it manually, or if you check this out, we can go down to control, or settings I mean, and you can turn the auto battle level on or off. If you turn it on, when you go to start a print, it'll pr uh, probe nine different spots before the print starts. So here's just a quick little demonstration. Um, as I said, it's all metal extrusion everything's real nice it does have filament run out sensors as you can see there um yeah just 
very, very well built. Uh, there is belt tensioners right there on the front of the Y axis. That's what that screw does. So first print here, we're just going to do something that came on the card and then we'll start doing our own stuff. So there's a couple prints on the SD card. Uh, here is one, it's an articulated butterfly and it actually came out super clean. Um, so then I fired up Cura and I went, you know, just with pretty default settings. And first thing, this is wood filament on the snail shell and this bronze filament. Um, and I think it worked really good for the rest of the snail. There was not much stringing. Um, this is pretty cool. This is a little like fidget cube thing. And this is just regular PLA. Um, as you can see, this is a pretty neat little fidget cube. Uh, it's kind of like a torture test. Your printer you really needs to print, you know, pretty uh, accurate in order to this to all move properly and everything. And it came out great. Okay, so then we decided, you know what, it's Pokemon time. So first thing, we wanted to print one of the, the starter Pokemon, the Bulbasaur. And that's uh, the closest colors I had on hand, but it turned out pretty good. Charmander, I had... I had some red and some orange filament lying around, so I decided I might as well do a Charmander too. And as you can see, Charmander came out super clean. Like, look at this. You can sell that at a toy store. And it looks pretty darn nice, if you ask me. And um, as you obviously could tell from the thumbnail, we decided to do Pikachu. So first off, I just did a kind of smaller Pikachu uh, before I really wanted to tackle any very large dual extrusion prints, because dual extrusion prints take a very long time when they are quite large. So, first off, uh, here is Pikachu as it finishes up the head. I wanted this time lapse to go a little slower so you can really see the detail. And there's no stringing from the Prime Tower to Pikachu. Like, no stringing at all. Um, I'm really happy with that. I will put my Cura profile uh, up on the user Facebook user group, so I'll put a link to that down below. Uh, and as you can see, here is a much bigger Pikachu we did. And this thing is massive. Well, so now I decided let's play around with the laser software. So this is really simple. Um, basically, you just open it up. You can select black and white image, gray image. You want to do a vector cut, text, whatever. Um, then you just drag and drop it, put it to whatever size you know you want it to be. And uh, here you can see I'm just leaving all these default. I got 30 and 20. You know, basically all just default. You got your platform size down there and everything for your size, of, you know, your bed or your piece of wood you're doing it on. This is just on the piece of wood that came with it. Um, this is several different UFC logos. And this is the very first thing I printed on here. I haven't calibrated. I did the little dot calibration, but really you want to you want to engrave something and then make fine adjustments from there. It's really important to get it the proper height, the laser from the wood, and that just takes a little playing around with it. But as you can see, this looks pretty darn good for the first one. You know, I'm a, if I'm a big UFC fan, uh, if you can't tell, I, I'm a mixed martial arts coach, um, as I do as my day job, so you can see why. This, I thought that something like this was pretty cool. I really like this last one. It, it engraves here. I think this one came out really, really good. And this was all, I loaded them all up on one file and exported them onto the SD card. So this was something I just had on one print. I didn't do these separately. Okay, then I was a huge fan of Cyberpunk Edge Runners, but a huge fan of the video game too, but check this out. I think this turned out absolutely incredible. So this is some cover art of the whole Edge Runners theme. I don't want to ruin it for you. I kind of let it, let it go up here. Yeah, the, this machine, this, I made some slight adjustments before I did this one, and, uh, yeah, for engraving on wood, I was super impressed. I think they've, the V3 definitely is, has the best laser engraver out of all of them. I mean, they, it seems pretty simple, but the machine has just gotten better each generation, being more sturdy, more balanced, it, it, it's a quieter machine, it's, overall, I'm very impressed with the the V3 of the shark. I've had, I think, every version of the Lot Mag shark. And I mean, look at that. I think that turned out absolutely incredible. Sorry about the light coming in from the blinds, but here's some closer looks at them. And yeah, very, very impressed. Yeah, so I think the Lot Mag shark V3 is a huge step up. Um, you can print pretty big things. It's not as big as the Shark Max printer, but um, for being a desktop 3D printer like this, uh, you really can't go wrong. Um, yeah, so link will be down below if you want to check this thing out. 
I cannot recommend it enough. Um, yeah, I think it turned out great. Thanks for watching.